What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to GMI's World Podcast. And today we're going to be tackling the Carolina Panthers. It kind of confused me because I'm looking at it like, yo, Baker Mayfield, Cleveland Browns. It's like, oh my God, he's not there anymore. So almost you almost caught me. And like I said, I'm not going to edit it out because that's like, you know, the way your brain works. It's like he's supposed to be on that team, but he's not. Uh, he has joined uh, the Carolina Panthers. Uh, Robbie Anderson, all these other guys, Jeremy Chen, he beat out, you know, uh, Sam Donald for the job. I think based on, you know, just overall with the team and all the stuff that they've been through, you know, since lo uh, losing Cam Newton, it's a lot of stuff riding on, you know, what Baker can actually do for this team. Now, what I think objectively is this. Do I think Baker is going to change the fortune for the Panthers? I do not. I do not think that they're going to be a playoff team. I think that they'll win games that people don't expect them to win. Um, will they beat the Browns week one? I, I don't, Look, there's a lot surrounding the Browns. Like, we know what's going on with Deshaun Watson. We know he has 11-game suspension. We don't know what's going to happen as far as the backups. We don't know who's starting. It's a lot of things going on. But the one thing that I'll tell you about the Browns, they have a great offensive line, and they can run the football. And that's primarily why Baker Mayfield was so successful, even when he sucked. You know, the run game was solid, so you have to really pay attention to that. I don't, you know, Derek Brown is a big dude up front for the Panthers. I don't think that they're that formidable that they can take on that offensive line, though. So I have to give the loss to, you know, I have to give the loss to the Panthers. I have to because you. Th this is what it is, right? The Panthers winning this game is going to create hysteria around the league. It's going to be like, yo, I know that Deshaun Watson is not there, but the Browns have enough because the Panthers are just not... Well, let me let me say this, bro. If Robbie Anderson goes off, I, all bets are off. I just don't think it's going to be like that because I believe the Browns, Denzel Ward, them young dudes, they can play defense. And I just think that their defense and their offensive line and Nick Chubb, I think that that's enough, even without a formidable quarterback. I really do believe that. So that's my opinion. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be exactly what the case is, but it is my opinion about it. I have to give the loss uh, to the Panthers. So I'm going to keep going on with this. Uh, the New York Giants... They should beat the Giants. Like, everybody beats the Giants. You and I can beat the Giants. Like, whoever's listening to this podcast, you and I can team up and be like, yo, bro, we're going to play the whole Giants team. Like, the whole 56-man roster. Like, bro, let's, let's a 53. 53-man roster. We could take them on. Just us two. Like, bro, you and I, let's go get it. So, the Giants is another um, situation where it's just a win for most teams that play them. It's going to be a win. So, we're going to give the Panthers that. I don't think that, um, you know, this is at the Giants, but I don't think it matters. I think Baker Mayfield may make the best by beating a bad team and just like showing like, all right, I may not be as good as everybody thinks I am, but I'm better than the Giants. You know what I'm saying? The Saints, I got to ride with 504 in this. You know what I'm saying? Round, whoa, or whatever kind of language they use there. Bro, it doesn't really matter. I got to go with the Saints. It's going to be a loss for the Panthers. All right, we're going to go ahead. Cardinals, I got to say this is another loss. Kyler Murray is a very interesting uh, player because you don't never know. He's like a box of chocolates, no Forrest Gump. You never know what you're going to get. But you know in the playoffs he's going to lose. But this game, I don't think that he'll have a problem winning. So I'm going to go ahead and give that uh, to the Cardinals over the Panthers. I think they have a much better team. Even with Hopkins, I think he's suspended, right? He got like that, you know, whatever, like some kind of suspension with substance abuse or something like that. I don't know. Maybe he took the wrong thing. I don't know what's going on. But I'm going to give that to the Cardinals. Moving on to the Niners, I don't think we need to argue about this. It's a loss. So right now we're looking at one and four for them because I, I don't really need to go into it. Debo Samuel and boys, I don't care who they start. They're looking at the young man right now, Lance. Look, dude, whatever, bro. Yo, get Garoppolo out of there. I don't know if he's traded already, but they don't want him. Like, let, let, let's go to trade, Lance. It's your show. Handle your business. I'm rooting for you, brother. Go handle your business. The Rams, do I need to discuss this with you guys or no? Like, if I have to discuss it, let me know. You know what I'm saying, bro? That's another loss. Like, we don't need to go into why it's a loss. I said Rams, and that's it. The Buccaneers, the GOAT. All right, another loss. Like, let's just look at it the way that it's supposed to be. And I don't know, like, as we go through this, I don't know how this is going to affect Baker Mayfield. A lot of people are not looking at that aspect. How is that going to, how is all of these just continuous L's going to affect him? We got to see if his leadership is really where everybody says it is. You know what I'm saying? So we have to wait and see how that rolls out. And ultimately, that'll determine what goes on. But I do believe that they're going to start off one and six. And I think I'll be very accurate with that. The Falcons, Kyle Pitts is a real dude. Um... I, I got I gotta look at it. I, I don't know what's going on, bro. I, I gotta see their new their new little rookie quarterback. Who's that Riddler or some kind of weird name? Look, dude, whatever he is, bro. I, I don't know. I think the Falcons are gonna win this game. 
I, I don't know what it is. I, I got to look at it. But, bro, I, I think right now, leading up to it, the way I feel right now, the Falcons take this. You know, like, they, they got to take it. You know, they're going to be doing the Dirty Bird all game. I think Kyle Pitts is a real man, dude. Like, I don't know what's going on. Uh, but I think they're going to win that game. The Bengals, obviously a loss for the Panthers. Like, do we need to talk about it? Probably not. They may split with the Falcons. You know what I'm saying? Depending. So I'm going to give this one as a W. J just to, like, relax you Panther fans. I'm going to give them a W for that. Like, let's just say they split uh, with the Falcons. The Ravens, it doesn't really matter who's starting a quarterback. Even though I think by this time, Lamar Jackson will have his deal done. So we'll be all good and ready to go. Um, I do believe that they are good enough to beat the Panthers without, you know, Lamar Jackson. So we obviously have to go ahead and give them that L, uh, unfortunately. So we'll just go ahead and drop that right there. Um, and that's pretty much it for them. The Denver Broncos should win this game. Very, very upset personally. because I don't know Tim Patrick. I believe that's his, that is his name that, you know, he tore his ACL. I just hate seeing these athletes that are ready to take off just not get that dude it, it really hurts but the broncos should win this game so we're going to go ahead and give them a loss right there but again you know you still got russell wilson uh he has a lot of um you know he has a lot of intangibles that he's bringing to that franchise um i don't know like leadership wise how good he is because i don't think the locker room really liked him at seattle uh, and I think a lot of that is based on what Pete Carroll did in the Super Bowl when they should have handed it off to Marshawn Lynch. But we'll see how it works out. Week 13, it's a bye, so they can't lose a game. Seattle Seahawks, speaking of the Seattle Seahawks, this is going to be a battle, believe it or not. I don't know what DK Metcalf's going to be doing, and I don't know what Geno Smith's going to be doing, but I'm going to give the Panthers the win here because I don't really trust Geno Smith. I honestly don't trust him, so I don't want to say that he's going to win that. The Steelers should beat them, so that's another loss. And when you look at the Steelers team right now, yes, they're not the Steelers of old, but they're better than the Panthers. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's just basic logic. Like, a lot of you guys are getting mad at me. Like, yo, bro, you don't know what you're talking about. I actually do, though. And I'm usually pretty much on par with the records that I predict. Go back to my other videos from previous years. You'll see. Because I'm just looking at it based on what the team is. Like, right now, Mike Tomlin, does he have these boys ready to play? Yeah, Juju Smith-Schuster sucks, but he's gone. He's with the Chiefs now. So, you know, what are we doing over there? It hasn't been the same since AB, and AB's gone crazy. So we don't know what he's doing. Probably putting that S on, put that S on. Uh, like, bro, I don't know what AB's doing, but the Steelers haven't been the same since he's been gone. So, you know, they're not the same team, but I think they're better than the Panthers. We're going to ride with the Panthers. The Detroit Lions, as much as it pains me, I love me some Dan Campbell. I got to go ahead and give the win to the Panthers. I just, dude, I, I don't know. It's just the Lions, bro. Like, their franchise, they're just born losers, dude. Like, I don't, I don't know, man. You had two, well, two, three, three or four great play. Barry Sanders, Calvin Johnson, they had that quarterback. Like, they had really good players. And the franchise as a whole is just not good. The Buccaneers going to beat the brakes off of them again. So it don't really matter. And then the Saints is going to round it out and just go crazy. The Saints is going to go absolutely nuts. All right? And it's going to be really, really disgusting. So I would probably go ahead and say, you know what? We're going to take the Saints in this one. All right? So that'll give them another loss, which will give them 13 uh, losses. So I'm going to say they'll go 4 and 13. That'll be my final for uh, the Panthers in the 2022 season. Let me know if you agree. I'm just speaking from the heart, guys. Let me know. And while you're letting me know, go ahead and subscribe, like, share. If you're listening to this on iTunes or any other uh, podcast with G Myers World, I appreciate you. Thank you guys for listening. Have a great night. One love, y'all.